blinking. What's up, my loves? Welcome to a new video. If this is your very first time here. My name is Maya. So, y'all, this video will be focused on some new home updates. It has been a minute since we have done some updates, just because with everything, you know, happening in my personal life, <laughs> this has not been on my list. But I've had things that I've wanted to get done, and I felt like, why not just do it all at one time and throw it in a video? <laughs> So today we have some shopping that we need to do. I need to run to the store and see if I can find some things. One of the first things on our list is to paint my bedroom. Y'all know I've been talking to you about painting my bedroom because I just want a more brighter feel in my bedroom. You know, my wall was black. I'll pop a photo of my bedroom right here. While I love the design of it, I hooked that room up, baby. I loved it, okay? However, a lot of some of the design elements in my home that I focused on, that I went around, were focused on not being too feminine um, because I was married. And I wanted the home to be like masculine and feminine together. So that was some of my direction. But now that I'm divorced, I want to femini feminize. Is that a word? <laughs> the house. So we're painting the wall. And then there's some other things that I want to do to the house just to brighten it up, liven it up, bring some more feminine elements into my home and just really have it be a reflection of myself in a mirror. And then also just, do some tweaks here and there. So before we head out to the store, y'all, we actually gotta get some cleaning done. This morning I was making oatmeal and all the brown sugar in my little container was stuck in there. So I had to put water in it. And I was trying to like get it out and take it to the toilet to flush it. And it got all over my floor. So we have a big old mess right here that's dried up that I need to make sure I clean up. But, but we recently just got a new floor washer that can handle it. So thank you so much to Tenco and Best Buy for sponsoring today's video. And let me show y'all what we got. So yeah, y'all, we just got this new floor washer from Best Buy. It is available at Best Buy. And baby, this is a lifesaver. First of all, I told you guys that I was thinking about getting a house cleaner. I have not done that yet. And the reason I was gonna get one is because I just need to save time. I just have a lot going on, a lot of things I need to be doing. This house is huge. My house is over 3,000 square feet. And that's just a lot for little old me. So I love this product though, because it does save so y'all, this is our new toy. It's super, super lightweight. I already got it all charged up and I've used it a couple times already because it is amazing. <laughs> this is the Tinko Floor One X6 Extreme Pro and it is a three-in-one mop, vacuum, and self-cleaning floor washer. And it's a smart washer as well. This is actually not a mop. It is a combination between like mopping and vacuuming at the same time. So I'm gonna put on the screen kind of how this washer works, but I gotta fill it up with some water first so that we can get to clean it. But I love that this cleans up both wet and dry messes, so I got a lot of floor. <laughs> a lot of floor, and it's actually Amira's um, job to pick up, you know, the floor and to sweep and to mop and all that stuff. So this will be something that she's doing. And this has already been saving so much time because it'd be taking Amira a nice little amount of time to get this stuff done. Also, if you're deep cleaning, you can add some of their deodorizing and cleaning solution. This actually came with the floor washer and you can add a cup to your water to make sure that you get the full clean that you want to get. So I mentioned to you guys that this is a smart floor washer. So when it is in smart mode, the washer does kind of like sense how dirty your floor is. So it'll adjust the power during your cleaning session until the floor is totally spotless. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna clean this up. <laughs> So the product does lean, so you just, you know, pull it back to whatever angle you need it to be at, and you press this button, and it powers on, and it just gets to work. This does pick up both wet and dry messes. As y'all can see me doing the floor, it does an amazing job just to vacuum the floor as well as to mop it. So it's all in one. It does have a dual edge cleaning brush as well, which lets you clean right up against the wall and not miss not an inch of the floor. And I love that because I'm always trying to get in them edges, especially when I'm sweeping and or mopping. And I love that it makes that super easy. Also, if you guys notice, it does have a full color LED screen on it where you can track the battery life and your cleaning progress. I'm gonna finish cleaning up this floor because obviously we got a lot of floor to cover, but so I want you guys to say goodbye to hours and hours spent sweeping and mopping your hard floors. So make sure you guys click the link in the description to get Tinkone's Floor One S6 Extreme Pro, which is available at Best Buy. 
We are on our way right now, guys, to go to Lowe's because we need to go and get paint. But some of you guys will be happy to know that I just hung up with uh, some people that do blinds. So we can finally get rid of those blinds in the kitchen. Um, don't match the house. They matched the house before I changed everything and made everything white. So um, I'm gonna get some Roman shades for those. Anyway, y'all, we are headed to Lowe's right now. We need to get paint. And then I also want to, there's, one of the walls upstairs, whatever wall I put my um, sculpture thing that Amira and I and my ex made, I'm moving that upstairs because we're doing a gallery wall in the living room where that lives right now. So again, I'm gonna wait until after Christmas to tackle that gallery wall though, since uh, that's where we're gonna put the Christmas tree. I am going to move that upstairs, but I'm not sure what wall I'm putting it on. And I've thought about painting whatever wall that I put that on, but right now I'm not completely sure. I don't think I'm going to paint whatever the wall that is right now because I'm not sure. So I'm trying to get away from making like brash decisions. Is it called brash, rash? Quick decisions that I'm going to, my English major, um, quick decisions that I am going to regret possibly by not thinking about it too much and just doing it in the moment. I've been trying to do better with that as far as buying things, as far as how I decorate, painting, all those things. Now, my bedroom, I did want black. I did. I like the black wall in my bedroom. However, like I've been telling you guys, it just now at this point, since I'm recently divorced and everything, like it represents that phase in my life, being in that room with it looking that way so I want to completely change it up make it more feminine make it more bright and so um it's not that I hate that black wall I just want to change the vibes up um and I feel like I might like it better if it's not black so anyways yeah I'm trying not to make those crazy decisions anymore so yeah we're gonna go and we're gonna get paint and then also I want to go to home goods and to target and just see what they got all right y'all we are back from the store our shopping trip was not as productive as I thought it was gonna be <laughs> only because it's, it seems like it's hard to find like decor and stuff right now because everything is just Christmas 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 so I must say I had a little bit of an issue but it's all right um I had I did pick up a couple of things from Target that I really wanted to get like some cups some extra plates and some bowls for the house I also picked up a couple of Amira's early Christmas gifts as well <laughs> um just while I was there I was like I might as well and then I picked up a few Christmas things too. We do have all of our paint, so I'm about to get undressed and throw something else on. That's chill, turn on Scandal up in my bedroom. And we are going to paint, um, we're gonna paint the room. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it's kind of, I don't know. Painting the room today is a little bit emotional, not in a bad way, but in a like reflective kind of way. But one thing I will say is that not prioritizing yourself, and making decisions based on other people's comfort is um, expensive. So, yeah, anyway. So I got these glasses. They're stemless wine glasses, but I think I'm gonna use them as wine glasses, but also just as like regular glasses. It comes in a pack of six, just really cute glasses. So we got these. I'm about to load these into the dishwasher, as well as the new bowls and stuff that I got. We also picked up a runner for the table and I got this so that I can put a garland on top of it. I don't think this is something that I want to have year round, but I do want to put a garland on top of this. I have to get the extra long one because the table is so long. So I'm gonna turn you all around so I can put this on the dining table. I'm actually kind of sad because I really do not want to uh, move my ceramic thing. Like I really love this and I'm not excited about not having it up for Christmas, you know? I've been feeling like this table needed something and I like this runner. I'm gonna show y'all in better lighting here in a moment. So like I said, I am going to put a garland on this for Christmas, but I do like this table runner. I think it looks really, really nice. And because this is really similar to this, I might get like a white, um, what's it called, place? setting something whatever <laughs> but I like I like this a whole lot and once I put the garland on it I think that's gonna look beautiful for Christmas um but it kind of completes the table regardless so I don't know I just feel like it's too much of this jute going on you know what I'm saying so I feel like these being 
replaced or even having a white underneath it is what's gonna help that out. So obviously our um, paint upstairs is black, so we had to get a primer so that we can cover it up. Tonight I'm going to Surf de Soleil show uh, with my friend Yannique. And so I have to be done with everything by like four o'clock so I can throw some clothes on and some makeup and get out of here. I'm probably gonna insert footage of me like moving everything in the room, um, which I already did this morning. But then uh, we'll go ahead and paint the room. from this world running on a hamster wheel but searching for something i can't feel i just wanna be a lost girl and fly take a breath feel my wings spread levitate above the ground and make eye contact with clouds now i'm So the room is painted. It feels so much better in this room, y'all. It feels so much better. This is what we have. I did end up going with white, um, and I'm happy that I did. I just needed some brightness, y'all. I just, I just needed it to be bright, and I feel like it's so much brighter in here. So at this moment, I am deciding what I wanna do over the bed. Eventually we're changing these out for black, but that's not a priority. I'm figuring out what I wanna do over the bed. We do have some new pillow covers for my three coming. I'm trying to figure out what I want over the bed and I have two options right now. I have these two picture frames. You guys know uh, these were used before. <laughs> um, and now I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to use them again for this. Maya, why did you put this upside down? Hold up. There we go. <laughs> I'm thinking about putting these over the bed, like one, two, or I did pick up a art piece at, at home and I thought about putting this over the bed, but I literally just noticed that it only has hanging pieces on the back for it to be hung vertically and not horizontal. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. I think it's really cute, especially to be hung like horizontally over the bed. Like, I feel like that'd be so cute. So like it would hang like that. I think that's really nice. I think that's really cute. See, yeah, I love it. I think that's gonna be really nice. It, it could be bigger. Like it could stand to be a little bit bigger, but with the light over it, I think that would be really nice. I think I'm gonna figure out some kind of way to be able to hang it horizontally real quick because I really want to hang it like that. <laughs> oh, I'm out of breath, but I figured out how to hang it. Um, the little things were on the sides. I unscrewed them and put them on the, you know, these edges. And then now I just got done measuring and everything to nail it into the wall. I'm hoping and praying that this is nice and straight. Uh, I don't know. Is it straight? <laughs> Let's see so if it's straight. Oh, that's, that'll work. It's a little, can you can't tell it's a little crooked. I think that looks wonderful. What do y'all think? I love it. I love that. I love that so, 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 so much. So now the next thing we have to figure out, guys, is this wall. 
I do have, you know, this painting that was over the bed before. This is a, still a work in progress, but I have decided that that bench is gonna live on that wall. A lot easier for me to take my pillows off and put them there when I'm sleeping. So the next thing we have to tackle, guys, is this table. It is getting out of here because I'm bringing the dresser that's in the loft area in here, and this is going downstairs, back where it belongs. <laughs> or, I don't know, we still can decide where we wanna put it, but for now, it's getting out of here. Y'all can watch me struggle to bring the um the one thing in here real quick. And the reason that we're moving that in here is because we got finally got a TV, TV console to go in there. So we can finally actually put the dresser in the bedroom. So first things first, we're going to get this one out of here. And then we're going to pull the other one in here. That one is super heavy, so wish me luck, y'all. Oh, yeah. Oh. what this color is going to bring to the room though I feel like the color of it really complements I feel like the color of it really complements the new painting y'all remember we got this from article I'll make sure I link it below but baby she's heavy oh she's heavy I ain't gonna lie to you I can't believe I just did that oh okay we did it so proud of myself. Go Maya. Go Maya indeed. <laughs> On your earth, tasting like some fine wine. X broke your heart, you can hear that through a mind. Nick be calling, but you never mind. Cause you all mine. Pull up to my house late night, hit the brake lights in the shade, right? I know what's up on your mind. Pour a couple shots, put the Henny in my cup, and a couple moments later, we'll be building up a twine. Something that's divine. Have to give it time, but I'm patient. I just want to see. We got situation. some new chairs for this front living room, guys. I kind of had given up on trying to find the right chairs. Not giving up. I just had other priorities. <laughs> but y'all, I had my eyes on these chairs from Target. And when I went back to think about what I wanted in this room, because I was like, I really want to get those chairs in here. These ones from Target was the first thing that popped up in my mind and they were already in my cart. So I was like, we're gonna just go ahead and get them. Can you guys guess what color they are? <laughs> They're a color. Are you proud of me? <laughs> That's pretty much just the other, the after color that I've been having in the house, so nothing. Nothing too surprising. <laughs> but I felt like it was really going to pull this room together. Also saw this in store one time and I was like, that's really what sold me and I've been thinking about it ever since. I was like, Maya, let's stop thinking about it and just get the chairs. All right, there she is, y'all. So here is our new chair. We got two of them, obviously. Um, I'll unbox the other one here in a moment. But here she is, she's green <laughs> and I love her. I'm going to actually move these are still temporary. I don't really want these anymore because I really don't like the gold that's on them. This gold to me is very like, it's just too much. So I'm probably gonna put these upstairs. I might take them upstairs because I wanna create like a chair moment upstairs too. Um, but I wanna see what it's gonna look like. So these will be, uh oh, yeah, these will be here in the corner. Yes, yes. Do we like it? Do we love it? I think that that is perfect. 
I think it's perfect. I think it looks good. They are a little smaller than I expected them to be, but I still love it. All right, y'all, so right now, this is what our living room is looking like. I, like I said, love the green chairs. They're smaller, like I said, than I was expecting, <laughs> but they're still like super cute for the space. I feel like it definitely gives a pop of color and interest to the space, you know? Like, so you guys, so you guys can see like the, how big it is or how big it's not. <laughs> it's still just very comfortable, kind of like a barrel chair. Um, so I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. <laughs> I love it. So our next order of business is our loft area, y'all. I'm gonna give you guys a better look of what it's looking like right now from the steps. So this is what it currently looks like, y'all know the normal setup. Now y'all know I just took this dresser into my bedroom and we ran out of wallpaper <laughs> when I was doing it. And I felt like this was a perfect spot to skim because it was gonna be covered up um, by the dresser. But now we have a TV console coming and it's gonna be pretty low. I think it's gonna be pretty low. Either way, I got some more uh, wallpaper. So we gotta finish that up. We also got these two pieces from at home. So I'm about to like sit these on top of chairs to see these little stools, just to see how this would look. Cause I'm thinking about putting these on this wall. If not this wall, then that one, but let's just see. Personally, I was thinking this wall, it's right next to each other. And I'm still deciding if I'm keeping this table in here, y'all. I might not even keep this table in here. Why is this higher? In that one. I didn't know those chairs were different heights. What? I like it on that wall. I think that's gonna be very nice. And then eventually I'll figure out what we're gonna do over here. Yeah. Better one than Yeah. La, la, you got better when you mad me a minute. You said you done trusting, but you did it. Move low key, but I really know you with it. Why you not your line when you really got them digits? I'm a sass, I'm like, yes, ain't no stress, you the best. I'm a sass, I'm like, yes, ain't no stress, you the best. Look, how you get so good at being modest, girl, be honest. You said you done trusting these niggas, made yourself a promise. I hate to make you take it back. I've been getting paid for rap, ain't talking about the drums. When I tell you I can make it clap, had to make you wait for that. You intrigued with conversation. You be moving dolo, I'm intrigued and I'm in admiration. I can gas you up, but I don't think you need the validation. Still, you looking good, natural, without no operation. Okay, y'all, so we have the artwork up. I love them there. Um, I put that table there because that was one of the ideas I had. This room, y'all, I have so many different ideas of things that I might want to do, um, and I just can't really decide. So I thought about actually moving the couch back there um, and then creating, like, a chair area. I don't know. Like, so, okay. Let me back up. So this is what I thought about. Moving the actual couch back up against the wall. I mean, it's enough space for it to be over there. And then maybe doing like two chairs, like a chair situation right here um, with like a little table. I don't know, y'all. I really actually don't know what I want to do. I don't want to like drag y'all through me trying to figure, figure it out because it's a lot. So... Today is day two of me filming this video and y'all, I am beat. So I'm about to do whatever else I can. Oh, I do want to bring, y'all know the sculpture that we made? I do want to bring that upstairs. I think I'm going to put that leading to my bedroom with the light over it. Let's do that. And then we'll get back to this room later. <laughs> so y'all, I've never had enough lighting over here. This is another reason why I wanted to do this over here because I can see this from my bed and I feel like it'd be great just to have this there with the light and everything. Like it's itching for a light in this area, I feel like. So, so y'all, I forgot how heavy this thing is. It is crazy heavy, like insanely heavy, but we're still gonna get it up there. I wanna get it up here. Um, it is like, oh, okay, I'm gonna bring one of them tables over here. That's what I'm gonna do, save myself some heartache because this here is a lot this 
This obviously is not gonna go here. I'm just using it to hold this thing up for me. All right, because so this is approximately where I wanna put it. So, only thing is, I feel like it might be an overpowering, you know, piece in this hallway, but I feel like it's grand. I feel like it's very grand. I like it though. I had to step back to really look at it like from this angle. Let's go over here. Yeah, I wanted to step back to look at it from this angle and I think, I think it should work. I don't think it's bad. I think it's okay. I'm about to attempt to hang it real quick. What's up y'all? So we are about to get the um, TV console upstairs. So um, in the last video, <laughs> in our last vlog, um, I don't know what happened. I dropped my camera and the, um, the footage got erased, but when I had got home that morning from taking a walk, there was this real big box from Wayfair leaning up against my garage. I was annoyed because I'm like, this would have been so much easier for me if you would have put it on the porch by the door and I could slide it in. But I had to struggle to get it into the house, through the garage. So the first part of that footage is gone, but I did have the second part of it. So I'm just gonna insert it here and then We'll pick up after that. <laughs> okay. Let me see how we're going to do this. Okay. Oh, no, not the toe. Oh, oh, so please. Okay. Oh, God, that was close. Okay. Oh, my foot could have been so Okay. I think we got it. Oh, no. And she's in. <laughs> okay, so now that we got it in the house, y'all, the box is right here. What I'm gonna do, because it's so heavy, Amira and I are going to just open the box and take the individual parts upstairs, and then we're gonna put it together up there. So, <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and montage it out of us like opening this up and getting everything upstairs and putting it together. Um, Cause though it's probably gonna last about 20 seconds, 30 seconds for y'all, it's gonna last a good two hours, I'm sure. So let's do it. You, 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 you said you want a bad one. Well, baby, I'm as bad as they come. You said you want a hot one. Yeah. You with the hottest under the sun. But be careful what you wish for. Make you your word if for more than what you bargain for fun to flirt but promise to deliver much is required cause look at what i'm giving you you ain't really ready for real you ain't even ready for real So we finally got done with the TV console. I absolutely love it. It is a low console, but I really like it. I love how long it is. And I love that there's so many opportunities for decor, right? So you can like sit books inside of those and put a lot of stuff on the top and just really style it how you want. Um, also, you can close those in to where it's just like that size right there. Um, but I like it long. Since this room is long, I feel like that really complements the TV and the TV is a 75 inch. Next order of business in here, cause we're gonna get to decor once it's done. I'm not completely sure if it will be done though this time, but I'm trying my best y'all. <laughs> anyway, um, I really wanna see what it looks like to take the couch and put it up against the wall. So y'all know we have this couch right here. I'm thinking about putting it over here. Amira says she doesn't think that's a great idea. However, I just feel like I gotta see it first to be able to knock it out because I just feel like if I do that, it opens up the space and then I wanna do two chairs in here as well. Right now I will use the ones that I have downstairs just to like stage it and see how I want it. This table right here, that is going. 
I don't like that anymore. I don't want it. It's from um, Hobby Lobby. I'm going to get a mirror to help me move this couch just so I can see what it looks like and then we'll make a decision. I just want to go to sleep. Amira. Help me, please. Okay. I need you. y'all up over here so you can watch me struggle up the steps with it probably won't be much of a struggle because it's really not that heavy but i had to have it i got it from home goods <laughs> so y'all went to home goods and i saw this and it took me about 15 to 20 minutes to sit maybe not 15 20 minutes maybe like 10 to 15 where i literally sat down trying oh Lord, that bro. <laughs> well i actually sat down and i was trying to figure out if i could get this in my car but it fit, so we're happy. It's this bench. That's our accent color, which is that olive green. Um, not sure where it's going to live right now. I don't know if I want it. Like, I don't know where I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. There's so much stuff in this room, y'all. Let me show you. We just have a lot of stuff in here. Right now, this is what it's looking like. But... I don't know if this is the configuration that I want for everything. I love that the room looks open with how it is right now, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it that way. I do feel like this bench kind of does finish it off, but I just, I just don't know. We're gonna figure out a configuration. I don't really know what it's gonna look like right now, but towards the end of the video, you guys will see the finished product. But anyway, child. So like I said, y'all, we did get new photos and we're gonna fill up these new frames with it. together. 
First, let's focus on the loft area. My sister said you gotta look at things from all angles, so I'm giving you guys all the angles of the finished product or the finished result of this room, and y'all, I am in love with it. Don't pay attention to the cord hanging. I am getting some cord covers, but they are not here yet. I love it. I feel like it's so much more feminine. It's a lot more inviting. One of my favorite spots in here is this back area. I'm so happy I created this area and moved the couch forward. I love this, y'all. Not only do I love the artwork, which I got from at home, but I think this area just makes the whole room just more elegant. I did some family pictures and some white roses, lit a candle, and it's a vibe. I also added these two chairs. Guys, these chairs will not be living here permanently. We will get some more in the future, but I love how this turned out. I love the bench, love the color, but the gallery wall, y'all, I actually wanted to do six, but I couldn't. Do you guys see this um, thing in the middle, the plug and stuff? I couldn't like put a photo over it, so that has to live there. Also, these are pictures from my camera roll when I went to Paris last year. So. The console table worked out perfectly. I do love it. It is low, but I'm okay with that. I did layer some of the decorations. These white trays that I had that used to go in my room, I flipped those upside down and just put some decor on it. The photos, family photos and friend photos, and I love it. So let's move on to this hallway, y'all. I'm very happy that I moved this here. I was thinking it was a little bit overwhelming because it's so big, but I can't lie, I do really like it. And now <laughs> to the bedroom, y'all. I love, I love the bedroom. I feel like it's so much more open. The room itself, for the size of my house, I feel like this room is small. So I just feel like maximizing that natural light um, to do that, that black wall was really like minimizing it, making it smaller and everything. But I do love how it turned out. The mauve pillows, y'all, I love them. <laughs> I wanted that pop of color and I love that feminine pop of pink. Y'all know I got this artwork from Amazon and it broke, but uh, look, it's fine, it'll work. I put that on the wall as well as these photos, which I used to have wedding photos in them now it's just me and my baby girl and y'all know I got the bench over there too so I could put my pillows on that when I'm going to bed so the dresser love that in the room I just put some decor on the dresser layered with some books and a candle you know the vibes and this room feels so good y'all I wake up every morning with such peace and excitement and it just feels different and that's what I was going for so thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see y'all in the next one bye